Hi guys, Leonardo Newman here with Leo Newman Films and Newell Productions. And today we're gonna to be breaking down an ad we did last year for the Bahamas Institute of Business and Technology. I've done a previous breakdown of a previous commercial we did for them, but this time the commercial was focused on their new online learning platform and the idea basically that you can learn from anywhere. And one of the cool things is being in the Bahamas, which is a country filled with islands, the online platform allow you to be on any island in the Bahamas and, you know, be able to work toward getting a degree, certificate, whatever it is you were going to school for. We did two ads. The first one was about not allowing COVID-19 to stop you from getting your education. And so that one was more focused on, you know, because you could learn from home, you could learn on the beach. <laughs> be in the library doing whatever you want to do and on different islands. The second ad was about the scholarships and grants that the school was still offering, even in the midst of what was going on, for those who would have thought that because of the tough economic times that were happening and currently still are happening, those who thought that they weren't be weren't going to be able to go to school, you know, now having the opportunity to go to school because they have a chance of getting a scholarship that would greatly reduce the cost. So one of the cool things was that I actually graduated from the Bahamas Institute of Business and Technology or BIBT for short. And I also received the scholarship that helped fund my way through college when I was there. So yeah, if anyone's interested, if they're looking for scholarships, the school's still offering scholarships and grants to help, you know, anyone who might be in need of it. And so check them out. All right, let's check out the video. financial times. Please don't be another bill. And Bahamians everywhere are working to overcome Hello. the challenges caused by the worst global health crisis of our time. Listen, I'm just trying to keep my head above water. So I guess you still won't be starting school this year, huh? No, it doesn't look like it. That's why the Bahamas Institute of Business and Technology has set aside thousands of dollars in scholarships and grants to help Bahamians achieve their academic goals. Hopefully things are better next year. Oh my gosh, it, it looks like I just got a scholarship. Wait, what? Yeah, I guess I can go to school this semester and I can do it online too. It's fast, easy, and affordable. Now earning your degree is within reach. Enroll at BIBT and enjoy the future of quality online education. Visit BIBTBahamas.com for more information. All right, so we've watched the video. Let's go through a few of these shots and, you know, see what we, see what we like. In this first shot, we just basically have a time lapse of the road. So this is the view from the campus of the school. I just wanted to open the ad with, you know, a bunch of cars passing. You know, we went from here to this shot now of, you know, people in traffic again. And then, boom! Just an empty road. And this was actually filmed in the smock of COVID. Now we have a drone shot of a neighborhood now, you know, got empty roads again. You just wanted to have a, you know, cool opening goes from that fast pace hustle and bustle to boom. And, you know, that was just to, you know, bring ourselves from the world that we used to know into the world that we know now on new then, which was, a, a lot of empty streets, a lot of people at home. So in terms of lighting for this shot, you had a 60, I think it was a 60W in the back here, hitting off the roof just to give a little bit of a glow behind her. A Godox 60W. We have a big old Godox 300 in front of her as a top light basically. And that's in a lantern softbox. So that's just on top of her, you know, shining down. And then we just looking at the camera. And we shot this whole ad on anamorphic. The taking lens would have been a Zeiss Jenna 50 millimeter. I had bought a set of vintage Zeiss lenses. And yeah, I used those quite a bit last year. And we had my ISCO 2X anamorphic scope adapter on the front of that. Give us our anamorphic. And yeah, so the idea of those shots again was just people ain't working no more. But all oh, people have been laid off from jobs. Now, you know, they just walk in the nails with a bunch of bills. We see her come in, rest those bills, smack the album on the table. 
press the purse down and as she was walking through the door we saw that she got a call and so she rushed us down to pick up a call and then a lot of it was just now acting for my actress her name is Kalea Ward she was actually in the field sewing machine commercial one of the first one the first one at the end of it so the voice of the person she's on the phone with is actually the producer of the ad Gabrielle Gardner now but yeah so she worked with me to write the ad come up with all the concepts things like that and she also is an actress a singer and all type of talented stuff in the creative field and a writer and a director and all that good stuff in her own right first of all we filmed this ad in my seat in probably like three hours or so because we were filming two ads the same day we didn't have a lot of time we had to knock these out pretty quickly so this is probably actually one of my favorite shots we had to end up doing a quick reshoot to add some shots the lighting again for this was the same on bleach muzz the godox vl 300 and as you can see it's pretty simple it's just hidden up i really love the grade of this so we had a lot of different variations of the grade and i was like you know some were too pretty some were you know just a bit off in the color and i was like i wanted something less poppy i wanted something more subtle and not necessarily natural but something less vibrant desaturated that just felt a bit more gloomy to properly represent the mood of the story the mood of the voiceover and basically the mood of the world especially in this beginning part of the ad so i know the lighting for this one was influenced by this big old back door um, that i got some drapes and shares and put in front of it so this shot is a perfect um i think perfect representation of how we lit everything so we got our big old shares with all that light coming inside we have a godox coming front on at her big old light you know shining at her front on we don't have any neck and we have that fresnel attachment um 300 shining at the back wall right there to create this shape that we have on the wall and it was brighter and i just toned it down just because i wanted some character in the back there but i didn't really want it to be drastic and it was also from the sense of the light was over here but if we pretend that somehow it coming from this curtain like look how soft the light on the curtain is so if that's that soft then you know any light that coming inside also needs to be really really soft so this shot is probably my favorite shot but this like this is close up but this whole sequence like this camera move is you know i think is probably the keyframe of the ad and uh, it just pulls out pulls out and boom where well, she had her little refrigerator magnet dreams <laughs> could say it was a bit childish maybe but uh, that's what came to my brain these were super colorful so i really had to desaturate these a lot because i was like i don't want these to be super colorful i was actually trying to find like more like a gray ones or some so but couldn't really find them over here with the time i had to search so this was the first time i used a remote follow focus um, on a shoot and so all i was doing was controlling the camera and the dolly and had my first ac pulling focus so i did something in the grade you have to watch it in motion if you look at this the shot actually starts off darker and look at the wall and it gets brighter if you look at this get brighter and this shot also getting brighter so now the room is actually much brighter than it was say in the beginning so that was just a little thing i did in the grade as she got happy and excited that i'll get the scholarship um, we just raised up the brightness didn't change any of the lighting still exactly the same so this shot was the only shot we changed the lighting on just because this is like a really happy shot and i just wanted to you know really get that light closer to her face you know give us some nice yeah just really highlight her face you know make it look really nice 
and it's just the same lighting from the from before just our vl 300 true unbleached mus muslin i really like muslin um especially unbleached the fault the what it does to the skin is just especially dark skin tones it's just ah gorgeous so these shots are in both commercials again tying into the whole online learning that you can learn from anywhere so you have this person chilling out in a house in new providence and this person chilling on a light in a library in abago apparently uh she is on a beach in exuma so the shot doesn't make sense from a technical perspective because where all this light coming from if the sun behind her but you know it was pretty that way and that is what i wanted i wanted the prettier side it's just a vl 300 again go to ox vl 300 and we just using a big old softbox um and we just had that battery powered and that was the lighting setup for that no that's it we shot on the red gemini which is red low light camera and i shot in low light mode to you know give myself you know to bring um you get cleaner image even at higher isos and it's low light mode so just use that and one of the rare times that i really took advantage of um low light mode in my gemini which i no longer have <laughs> it's gone it found a new a new who i'll miss it i'll miss it which means if i don't have that it means i have a new camera so if you want to follow my page you would see what, what we've been shooting our new stuff on so yeah trio shot of all our people's at bibt learning you know learning their way and again we just have that same 300 and big old softbox uh shining and then we got some nice glycerin on the water which is almost beautiful ah uh, look at the water move uh, and applying our vibt bomb so i got and so yeah that is all we have for our art it's never too late to start boom it's never too late to start go back to school if you want to and check out vibt and we have another awesome one that we did earlier this year in 2022 for them this was 2021 we have another one that we did for 2022 and we're doing another one actually on saturday anyway so plenty more breakdowns to come um as we just go through the vault well guys that's it for now have a great day and see you guys in the next one peace